another letter from another pastor here. Uh, another pastor is writing from America and he say, your latest video, pastor, have been phenomenal. The purity of your motives are becoming evident as you shine brighter. You know, this is so interesting because this person was probably one of the people who was concerned about why I'm doing what I'm doing. And you know, some of the lies that people are spreading is the fact that I am doing what I'm doing because I want to go to Nigeria and I want to pull down the churches of other people so that when I come to Nigeria, I could start my own church and then build it on the ruins of the other people's church. You know, what is that? If I didn't do that coming to Russia, I mean, Nigeria, where I don't even need to do anything. Somebody doesn't even need to do anything to, to get crowd in Nigeria. Somebody doesn't even need to, to, to be anointed to get crowd in Nigeria. And, you know, if I were to start, if I am to start church in Nigeria, let me just declare it to you now. I don't want to start a church in Nigeria unless God tells me to. I'm not interested in starting a church, but I just want to let you know that for me, it is the easiest thing to do church in Nigeria. I don't need to call anybody. I don't need to pull anybody down to, to start a church in Nigeria. And if I start a church in Nigeria, if I have less than one million people in a year, say that I'm not a man of God. If I start a church in Nigeria, I guarantee you that all of them are having how many? One million people after 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. I will tell you that I will do church in such a way that in one year, I will have over one million people. If I am to do church. I know how to do church like that. that the reason why I'm saying this is because I've done church where it's the most difficult on earth. This place, to do church in Eastern Europe like this, is one of the greatest tasks. So if I didn't manipulate when... If I didn't manipulate in Eastern Europe, if I, in these most difficult of places, I didn't pull anybody down, I didn't spoil anybody's name, I didn't, you know, need to manipulate or do anything. I will, in the most difficult, none of these men of God has ever broken through in this part of the world. Let all of them come and try to start church in Russia or in, in Ukraine or in the former Soviet Union. Let's see what they will get. All of them are trying to have some churches here. They're having just black people, little, little groups of people that is not even up to his, the smallest home group in my church. You know, we are not even talking about that. I'm, you know, so, so for somebody to be saying that I want to gather crowd in Nigeria and I want to build church, that is why I am, you know, I am, you know, talking what I'm talking. You know, people are just using their own heart, their own motive to judge me. People are judging me by their own heart because in their own heart, that is what they would have done. But I came to the most difficult of places, the most difficult of places, and I built the biggest church in the continent, not just in one country, in all of Europe. And I did this from the age of 30, 33, when I was only 33 years old. Talk less of now when I know what I know and, and, when, and when I have all the experience that I have. So building a church in Nigeria, for me, is not even a task. It's not even a challenge. In fact, let me even make it worse for you. I can build a church in Nigeria without even, not even me, anybody can build a crowd, a following in Nigeria of one million without praying, without anointing, without anything. Just exploiting the, 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 the desperation of people. So I, I don't count, you know, for you to have, if, if you have one million in Nigeria, you will have maybe 100 here or 1,000 here. Maximum 1,000 you will have here in, in, in Russia. If you have 1,000 here in Russia, then you have maybe a few millions there in Africa. So I'm not talking about, you know, so to say that I have some ulterior motive, what could that be? I have started 2,700 churches. 2,700 churches. 2,700. I don't know any one of them apart from Redeem that has much, that have started more churches than I have started. So why should I be competing? But Redeem has been op operating for over 60 years or more, more, even more than that. And I did that. I started those 2,000 churches in less than 20 years. So who will I envy? What will I envy anybody for? So thank God this is a real man of God that is writing me now because he's sincere. Because he's truthful. And, and he's saying it here that, you know, from listening to you all these days that the purity of your motive is becoming very evident to everybody De and god is my witness i am doing this not for don't to not to you know to to pull anybody down not to talk bad about anyone 
just for the sake of truth. And people who have been following me, they will know, if you are, especially if you have listened to my series on truth and the plague of silence, you will see that truth is my best friend. I only have one friend, truth. Yes, I have one, I, you know, just like uh, uh, Sir Isaac Newton said. Plato is my friend, uh, Socrates is my friend, but truth is my best friend. The same I could say about myself, truth is my best friend. So this real great man of God is writing, and he's saying the purity of your heart is becoming evident. As you shine brighter with the truth, I know even if there are no immediate changes now, this your teachings will become a testament. See, he's prophesying right here. It, they will become a testament against these false practices. And definitely, they will become classic reference for those who will, in due time, receive the light. And he says, God bless you, sir. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, truth is my best friend. And that's the only motivation why I'm doing what I'm doing. If you have been watching our videos and maybe you enjoy them, maybe you don't enjoy them, but still, we need you to help us spread the word. And for that to happen, we only need you to take five little steps. Please help us spread this word by liking the video. Then, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We also need you to press the notification button. And the way to do that is to click on the bell. You see the bell there? Click on it. Then, of course, leave your comments. Let us know what you're thinking about each video. And finally, we need you to go and share the world. Share this video on your Facebook timeline, on your uh, Instagram, and every other platform that you have. All right? Let's win the world for Christ. Thank you so much.